everybody, welcome back to another day of Vlogmas. So today we are doing a stocking video. We're going to not only stuff the stockings, but I'm also gonna walk you through what is in everyone's stockings. I am doing this early this year. We don't have a fireplace and we don't really have like a good area to hang stockings. So I just don't put them out until Christmas morning. They stay hidden away. And ironically this year they were really hidden because I couldn't find the stockings that we used last year. I looked everywhere, all of the Christmas bins, everywhere, couldn't find them. So I ended up picking up a set off of Amazon. They're cute little knit stockings, but this is my first year using them. They seem stretchy, but I don't know. So I will link these down below if you're interested. They come in red, gray, and white. I'm gonna be using a mixture of them. And um, we're gonna jump into this. I wanna mention a few things really quick. So we will be stuffing my stocking, my husband's stocking, and my three children's stockings. So this video is good for ideas on what to put in stockings for a large variety of people, as well as if you just want someone to hang out with while you're putting your stuff together. Uh, I will say we're doing stockings a little bit differently this year because every year we run into the same problem where I don't know what to put in his, he doesn't know what to put in mine. And so this year we finally just sat down and we were like, listen, Let's pick them out together. And then we both have like final say. It's more of like a community project now and you're not gonna get just a bunch of stuff that you don't really want. So I think it worked out a lot better. Here's my biggest concern. I'm looking at everything laid out in front of me. I don't think it's all gonna fit in stockings. And I do this to myself every year. Do you guys do this? And uh, normally I take my stocking with us and I fill it up like to size it out and I couldn't do that this year because I didn't have the stockings. Plus, the stuff that I got for my husband and I, well, the stuff that we got for ourselves, um, we picked up online. So it's a, a whole big fucking thing. But I've got everything. I figured the kids' stuff that doesn't fit will go into their Christmas Eve boxes, extra filler. And then the stuff that doesn't fit in mine and Kyler's, I'll wrap up or something. Like, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. It's fine. Um, so I'm going to leave links to as much of the stuff as I can down below. I can't guarantee for everything, but as much as I can, everything here came from Target and Amazon. Those are my two places. Um, and also, I will leave, like, timestamps down below. So if you're just looking for, um, stocking stuffer ideas for her, timestamp down below. If you're just looking for stocking stuffer ideas for kids, I have a seven-year-old boy, a five-year-old girl, and a three-year-old girl, but she's about to turn four in January. It's very, there's too many numbers. And the way that their birthdays are laid out, there's it's too many numbers for me. But that's what we're doing. And then my husband and then myself, that's what we've got going on here. So it'll all be timestamped down below. Now, who do I start with? I think I'm gonna start with the for her stocking, then I'll do the for him, then I'll do the kids. I have chosen a red stocking for myself because I like the color red. Um, and my husband, like, we both like the color gray, but his favorite color is gray, so I'm giving him the gray one. So I'm gonna be using the red one. So we had picked up a few things that we kind of picked out together that we're gonna try to put in here. The first is from Amazon, and this is literally a pajama set, um, and it's Schitt's Creek themed. Don't judge me. Um, so you've got this pair of shorts that say Rose Apothecary on them, and I like stuff like this because you can kind of fold it. My, in my family, stockings are, like, very big, and, like, we stuff those suckers to the brim and then it also comes with the t-shirt okay and again you fold it and I like using stuff about this size then you can kind of shove it to the bottom and fill out this foot area if that makes sense these stockings do have some stretch to them I don't know if that's a good thing or if I'm gonna rip it because I know one year we had to replace the stockings because I literally ripped it in half perfect oh it looks like a foot that's creepy okay um also I found these on Amazon um, and actually my husband found these and I was like, wait, I want those. Um, so these are, I don't know what brand they're by, Chronicle Books, but there's fitness dice and yoga dice. Um, I like working out. I'm trying to work out more and I love yoga, but I never know like what to do. I always get stuck. So this is pretty cool because this is seven dice and then a little booklet and then seven dice and a little booklet. And you just roll the dice and it comes up with your workout or your yoga for the day. And I thought that was so cute and so fun. Something I'll definitely use. So now let's see if we can get these in here. They're big though. They're bigger than I thought that they were gonna be. This is why I don't like buying stocking stuffers online, which unfortunately is what we decided to do for myself and my husband because it's really hard to get 
sizing right and like I'm looking at my husband's pile and it's not all gonna fit. The Ulta Beauty Little Black Liner Haul. It is a six piece black liner essentials kit from Ulta Beauty. Um, I picked this out because hello who doesn't love some liner and this comes with glitter tears, a cat eye liner stamp, a gel eyeliner, a classic felt tip liner, an angled liner brush, and a gel eyeliner kind of potted product here. You can get this at Target if you go through like the Target for Ulta Beauty, which I don't know if you guys know this, but my Target doesn't have the Ulta inside, um, but you can still get everything online at target.com. Okay. Um, also, if you have someone who likes video games, my husband is not a video gamer by any stretch of the imagination, but myself and my son, we like video games. I have a Nintendo Switch, and they just released the Mario Party Superstars, which I wanted, so he did end up getting me this for my stocking. Let me just shove that. Okay. And then also from Ulta at Target, um, the It Cosmetics, the It, well, it's the It Brushes for Ulta Brush Bath. I've been wanting to try this. I've heard pretty good things. So he picked that up for me. Luckily, this is like perfect stocking size. So that'll fit right in there. Um, also, the Sugar Fix by Bobble Bar Like You a Latte. He ended up getting these around the fall time. So I don't know if they're still available, but they are so stinking cute. I am obsessed with them. So he picked those up for me as well. And then to top it all off, a little Target gift card because everyone loves gift cards in your stockings. Okay, I will say it's a little busy at the top, but I got it all to fit. Okay, um, and I'm really excited about it because it's, it's, I'll use everything in here. And I feel like that's where a lot of stockings go wrong is like most of the time I just find I won't use everything. Let's talk about stockings for him. Um, there's way too, there's so much stuff here. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I normally try to get him kind of useful things for his stockings in years past. And this is why I'm really glad we did this this year. Because I normally do um, like ties and cufflinks and, you know, miscellaneous little bottles of liquor, things like that. It's always very simple though. Um, now he does like ties and cufflinks because he wears them. Um, and he drinks the liquor and everything. But he told me that he likes it. Com this is I've been with this man for 10 years. This is completely out of the blue. He likes the novelty gag gift type things. So in particular, this is one of the first ones that he found. Um, Shock Tato, the lightning reaction game of Shock Tato. So it's like that game Hot Potato, but it shocks you. Um, he likes to take this stuff to work. So I got him a few of those things. This was like a legitimate request. Like he saw this and he was like, yes, I want that, get that. I don't think this is going to fit. It might, okay. But so there's a lot of stuff like that. I did get in, I did end up getting in some cufflinks, but the ones that I got were kind of um, like more expensive. I don't know if they're going to go in here or not. I don't know. We're going to just, let's just start sizing some stuff up. Um, from Amazon, I got him a pack of, it's like two packs in one, but if they're playing cards. One is gold, one is rose gold. He really likes gold things. Um, so I grabbed him those. I don't think I'm going to put those in first though. I'm trying to get to like bigger stuff. Uh, he does play guitar. So if you've got someone in your life who plays instruments, accessories for those instruments are always a good idea. Guitar picks, um, drumsticks, or aux cords for their amps. He needed a new aux cord. So he specifically requested a new aux cord. And that is perfect because it is a great size for a stocking. So are drumsticks and guitar picks though. They're fabulous for stockings. And look at how nicely that fits in there. Okay. I also got him a new belt from Target. It's from Goodfellow and it's literally just like a black leather belt. Uh, so I'm going to try to put this in here. I almost want to have that at the top. Oh my gosh, I hate this. Um, okay, so, oh, he specifically requested this too. Um, it's from Amazon. I'm not going to be able to put this in here. Um, this won't fit. It's too wide because like this is pushed out. So I'm going to have to come up with plan B for this one. But just so you know, it won't fit. Um, okay. So he picked out this book of exceptionally bad dad jokes. So frightfully awful yet wonderfully spiffing volume one. Do you know where you can get chicken broth in bulk? The stock market. That's not that's not funny. And then also the wooden triangle game. So I got this for him because he likes these little games that he can like have at work on his desk and everything. Um, and he's never played this. Do you guys remember this? When I was a kid growing up, every 
like family member's house that we went to had a bunch of these and no one ever knew how to play, but they were so much fun. And so I was like, oh, well you have to have one of those. So now the question is, will this stuff fit? I will say, um, you don't, don't buy shit online. Uh, this is the Plant Apothecary Calm Down Body Wash. It's ginger and lavender. I got a bottle of Plant Apothecary Body Wash at some point in time forever ago, and he loved it. And it's like 20 bucks a bottle, so I don't normally buy it because y'all know how he goes through body wash so fast. But I decided to go ahead and get him one because I know he likes it, and that works out well. There you go. Finally something that fits. Um, okay, he got the... Uh, uni it's a universal socket. Tools are always good too. And I really like the ones, last year I did a stocking stuffer video um, gift guide thing and one of the things was a keychain that had like the two basic screwdrivers on it. He used that all the time and in fact I have been in many situations where I was like that keychain would be nice to have and I've been thinking about getting myself one. I'm gonna go ahead and add in the playing cards. I think I'm gonna go ahead and add in one of his sets of cufflinks. This is from Crystal Corridor on Etsy and like I said I got him several cufflinks this pair is packaged really well they're just really big um, like diamond gemstone things but he really likes the like flashy cufflinks um, so I got him this pair and then I got him a couple of other more like unique pairs so I'm gonna toss that one in there and then I think maybe so this pair is really cool because it's a pair of cufflinks but the little pieces inside are made from the suspension bolts from like an F-160 race car, I think is what it was. I think. I got these on Etsy. I found them there. I'll link them down below, but it's pretty cool. So I think he's going to like those. And then finally, I'm going to add in the belt because I thought the belt would be cute on top. This is just so much square stuff. Everything he picked out was square. Okay. Well, it's not going to win any awards, but it's all in there. Okay, so now let's talk about Gibson. Um, Gibson is a seven-year-old boy. He likes video games and Legos. Um, for the children, I mainly stuck to making sure that they had the same number of products and trying to keep them in the same range. The girls obviously match a little bit better. Gibson's is a little bit different just because um, a lot of the stuff that the girls are interested in, he has no interest in whatsoever. So we're going to try. Am I doing it the wrong way? I don't know. Um, okay, from Target... I got everyone one of these baking sets, but everyone has a different one. So like this is Monroe's. She has like a roller pin and cookie cutters. Gibson has a uh, baking mold, a cookie press, and four cookie stamps, baking stuff. These are rather large though, and I'm thinking about probably putting them in the Christmas Eve baskets. Maybe we can bake some cookies on Christmas Eve. Um, oh my gosh, he, he saw this in the store and became obsessed with it. It is a mini boppet. It's mini. Why is it mini? And also, I know it's demoed. Can I turn it off? Maybe it is off. Maybe it's battery size. I don't know. It's a mini boppet. Why doesn't he want a full size boppet? I don't know. This is by far the largest product if we're not talking about the baking stuff. So I'm really curious to see if this will even fit. It won't. Okay. We'll come back to that one. I got him the Spot It Classic Spot the Match. It gave him observation and quick reflexes. So basically, you put down some cards and then there are two there's one matching symbol between any two cards and you have to try to spot it okay so what's that one game where you like slap some of the cards I think it's like that that's how we're gonna play it I think he'll enjoy that okay so I got him that oh my god I hate filling stockings you guys this is always so stressful for me because nothing fits and I don't want to give them just a whole bunch of candy I do have candy, don't worry. But like, I don't wanna give them nothing but candy. Um, I also, everyone got like a little, you'll see when the girls get theirs. Um, but so for him, I got him some Kinetic Sand. This is the Shimmer 3 pack. All of the kids love Kinetic Sand. And I tried to get stuff they kind of all share together, but the girls mainly got like slime stuff and he is not a big fan of slime because he doesn't like the texture, but he really likes Kinetic Sand. So I picked up a Shimmer 3 pack from Target. It was a pretty good deal. And we've got like a big Kinetic Sand set. So I figured that he would probably be able to get a lot of use out of that. Um, for candy, all of the kids got the same candy. They got Sour Patch Arctic Straws because they love these. Frosty Nerds because they love those. Um, a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup Tree, which is one of their favorite chocolates. And then the SpongeBob. It's like gummy Krabby Patties, but like on a kebab almost. And they love this stuff too. So I'm going to be adding candy here. I like, okay, I like 
stockings that are stretchy, but then I also like stockings that have a lot of give. Um, okay, so in order to keep it fair, I had to pick up a couple of um, random things, and for the girls, they had gotten a couple of um, like makeup products, and obviously he doesn't want makeup, and so again, going back to random things that he's mentioned that he's wanted, um, I got him a pack of two Whoopi cushions. He is legitimately the most stereotypical little boy I have ever met, so we're doing Whoopi cushions. We just want the kids to be happy. I just want you to go into the stocking. Oh my goodness. Okay. Also, um, all of the kids like stickers. So I went on Amazon and I found like those big sticker packs. His is video game themed. Um, so I got him those. And then I got him one of these little Minecraft mini mining moldable sand things. It contains six parts. All of the kids like those little surprise things. But obviously there are more made like typically for girls. And so like the ones that like the little dolls that you dress up or like the little... Um, shop items he doesn't really have much of an interest in but he likes these and he loves minecraft so i picked him up one of those are you gonna fit oh good lord i picked up each of the children one of the crazy errands um thinking putty so this is mini it's glow in the dark and this is the monstrosity one so it's green with like little monster eyes in it so they're all gonna get one of those and then because the girls got a lot of um like makeup-esque type products i and because his products well are they bigger probably not I got him some um, Lego minifigure Marvel Studios. I got him four so everybody gets the same amount of everything. Um, but, you know, this is more tailored to his interests. Okay. It's not too bad. Does anyone else just way over by, like, in every aspect of your life ever? We're going to talk about Monroe's next. She gets a red stocking because she's the oldest girl. And I have a red stocking and that just makes it easier to keep track of. Monroe is a five-year-old girl. Um, and she likes makeup and dolls. And again, the stereotypical interests of girls. Um, I really have tried to expand their horizons and yet this is where they come back to. So if this is them, we're gonna let them be them. Now here's my issue. So they each have a baking set. I've showed you Monroe's already. Both the girls got these. These are the LOL Surprise Confetti Under Wraps. I think this might fit in the stocking. I think it's gonna have to go in like first though. I got these from Target. Oh, look at that. That is like the perfect foot. Um, okay, but then they also each got like a bigger thing. Like Gibson's Bop It, right? So this is, so Monroe got the Orb Matcha Bubble Tea. It's Mix Up Slimy Bubble Tea. She watches a lot of those videos, like the slime videos, right? And so she loves stuff like this. And this is scented. It looks like a little drink. It's so cute. So I don't think this is going to fit in here though. So this will go into the Christmas Eve box with Gibson's Bop It and then the baking stuff. Okay, now also for the girls, they really like fidget toys. Gibson does, but he doesn't like, he's not really big into the poppets. Um, so I got the girls these Pop Pop Poppers Bubble Fidgets from Target. These were only $3. So I picked them each up one of these, and then I picked them each up one of the Ryan's World Mystery Spinners. Gibson's kind of over Ryan's World, and I couldn't find any other mystery spinners. So I got these for the girls. I'm kind of bummed. I feel like he would take one look at the Ryan's World and be like, ew, that's for babies, you know? I don't know. We're all trying here. I really like it when I can get, so, and this is what I tried to do this year, but I really like it when I can get, like, all three of them the same thing, just in, like, slightly different variations, you know what I mean? But now, as they're getting older, their tastes are changing, and the girls, I don't know why the girls seem to have, like, the exact same tastes. I also got each of the girls this. It is from Smackers and it is the Sparkle and Shine I Believe in Unicorns color palette. So it's literally a cute little makeup palette. They all love makeup and this keeps them out of mine. The girls got the exact same candy. Everyone got the exact same candy. Um, the girls got LOL Surprise flip shades. I don't know what they do. Oh, they you flip, flip them up, but then how do you wear them? I don't know. They wanted them. So this is the pair that Monroe got. And then I got them each some hair stuff. So Monroe got the Goody and Barbie um, No Metal Elastics for Medium Hair. And then this is from Scoonsy. And it is just a cute little selection of, of little scrunchies with little bows ties at the end of them. Um, the putty that she got was the Mini Glow Aurora Sky. So it's just like a glow in the dark putty. Uh, she got unicorn themed stickers from Amazon because she loves unicorns and then the last couple of specific things for them And it seems like I got the girls more. I know but that's because I got gifts in the Lego sets 
because that's what he likes you guys uh I'm really big on fairness and like keeping everything fair and so I hate the fact that this looks unfair to me but like I know that it's as close as I could get it without giving someone something that they didn't want just to keep it even like looking more fair you know what I mean Oh, mom guilt. Okay. Um, so also the girls got another one of these. This is the Compound Kings Whipped Bingsu Cuties. It's slime, coconut cream pie scented with a surprise charm and fun mix-ins. It was a request. I don't know. Um, and then Monroe really likes my nails, but obviously she cannot do her own nails. So I found these. These are impressed minis. Um, and these are little press on nails for young children. Okay. So Monroe is going to get this set of cute little like sprinkle ice cream, right? Super cute. Now I just have to see if I can fit it all in here. All right. Now Ramsey's stocking is going to be white because she is the youngest. Ramsey is a three-year-old girl, but she's turning four in January. So we basically consider her a four-year-old in this situation. Okay. So her little baking set um, comes with five measuring cups, a whisk, and a spatula. So you put them all together and they can bake something cool. Okay. So she also got the LOL Surprise Confetti Under Wraps. Hers should be fairly easy just because her and her sister ended up getting a lot of the a lot of similar, similar stuff. For her hair accessories, she got the Scoonsy Original Scrunchie, just a little rainbow set. It's cute, she likes rainbows, that'll work nicely. And then um, I got her one of the Goody and Barbie things. This is just some hair clips. It's like dual sided, there's like eight hair clips. Got those from Target and the girls love their hair accessories. And then um, her mini thinking putty is rainbow. If you can't tell, she really enjoys rainbows um, so that works out well I don't okay these goodie and Barbie clips if you plan on getting these they unattach really easily I also ended up getting her one of the little makeup palettes so that will end up going outside of the stocking because I can't get it to fit and then I also got her a pop it popper a Ryan's world mystery spinner her stickers are all Disney princess themed because she is much more into Disney Monroe is actually not that into like the Disney princesses she likes, which is ironic because when she was a baby, her room was Disney princesses. Um, she likes some of them, but she tends to go more for like the Disney Junior, I guess. So she likes Sophia the First and she likes um, Doc McStuffins. That's Disney Junior, right? God, I think. It's either that or Nickelodeon. But she likes the more like younger characters and Ramsey really likes um, Elsa. So. so Monroe had gotten the Orbs bubble tea, Gibson got the Bop It, and then Ramsey got the Goose Cookie Goo. So it's, you know, slime. But those are gonna go into the Christmas Eve basket. Okay. Uh, Ramsey's LOL sunglasses are yellow because that is her favorite color. She got the same candy. Her little press on nails are cherries. And then, um, what did Monroe get? Oh, that little, that slime mixin' thing. Ramsey got this. This is the uh, Cutitos Babitos. So it's like like a burrito in a cup with a stuffed animal inside. She really likes stuff like this. I don't know, you guys. I, I don't make the toys, okay? I just buy the toys. It's never even. It's never even. Oh, my God. Can I shove some more of this, like, down here, though, to try to make it a little bit more even? It's so thin. I've got to fix that. Oh my God, that is going to drive me crazy. Okay, seriously. This is my, this is my, my stockings every year. I don't understand. I might, I know I buy too much. I, you don't got to tell me that. But is that like, is that it? Like if I buy less, will it look nicer? Well, I hope this video was informative for y'all. Listen, this video, the purpose of this video was not to um, let me show you how to make a cute stocking. It was for stocking stuff for ideas for a large variety of people. So give this video a thumbs up if you are given any new ideas for stocking stuffers for a large variety of people. Please do not judge me based on my ability to put the stocking stuffers into the stocking because um, I have none. Okay, that is the video for today, folks. Um, thank you so much for joining me here. Uh, like I said, I hope that you learned something. I hope that you got some good tips or something. Um, I know when I was a kid, every year the stocking stuffers were the same and it was great, don't get me wrong. Like, very thankful for everything that I received. Um, but it was nice to always just kind of like mix it up a little bit, you know? And so I like to try to mix it up as much as possible and not get like the things that you would normally expect to get in stockings. 
So, stocking stuffers. Stocking stuffers always make me so... I love stockings, you guys. Stocking stuffers are the best. Maybe I'll get one of those, like, big oversized stockings. Why can't I just use the Christmas Eve box? Why does it have to be in a sock? I feel like if I could use the Christmas Eve box as stockings, that would be so much better. Maybe I'll just... Maybe I'll start a new tradition where all the stocking stuffers go into the Christmas Eve box, but you get it on Christmas Eve, and then on Christmas morning you just get presents, you, get a, you don't get a fucking stocking. Maybe we'll bring back the orange in the stocking. I don't know. I don't know. Leave me your comments and suggestions and tips down below. Um, thank you guys so much for joining me here today. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys did. Make sure you hit that bigger subscribe button below me if you'd like to see more of me. I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great one. Bye.